Hello, we are Current Energy, your solar thermal specialists. In this video, we will show you how to assemble our BTC200 evacuated tube pool heating system. First, you will need to open the packaging. Here you can see we are laying out all the parts and pieces to ensure everything is accounted for and undamaged. You will want to assemble the frame on a flat surface, such as a driveway, and avoid assembly in areas where small pieces, such as nuts and bolts, may be misplaced, such as your lawn. When everything is laid out, you should have one manifold, four legs, two long, two short, a bottom bracket with multiple slots, a center bracket, two cross braces of equal size, two leg braces of equal size, 20 plastic cups, 20 gaskets, a package of nuts and bolts. Here you can see we are placing the nuts and bolts into a magnetic dish to prevent any from being misplaced or lost. When putting the frame together, you should initially hand thread and tighten all nuts and bolts. Begin assembling the frame by attaching your rear leg, the shorter of the legs, to a front leg, the longer. When the two legs are assembled, attach a leg brace as seen here. When this is completed, proceed to assemble the remaining legs and leg brace. When this task is complete, it is time to attach the bottom bracket to the base of the front legs. The bracket can be identified by its multiple slots. The smaller slot should point upward toward the manifold, the larger downward toward the ground. When this step is completed, continue by attaching the bottom bracket to the remaining front leg. Once the bottom bracket is secure, attach the center brace to the front legs. The center brace should be bolted to the third hold from the top of the front leg. Next, take a back brace, of which there are two, similar in length, and attach it to a rear leg. Continue by bolting the back brace in place on the opposite rear leg. The brace should be on a diagonal when installed correctly. Once in place, we attach the other back brace in a corresponding manner. With both back braces in place, bolt them together at their center point. The last step to assembling the frame is attaching the feet, which will be bolted to the base of each leg. Now that the frame is assembled save for the manifold, begin to tighten the nuts and bolts with a wrench. Mind that you do not over tighten the nuts and bolts, lest you cause damage to the frame. Now that the frame is assembled and the nuts and bolts tightened, you can proceed to attach the manifold. First, you will need to remove the nuts from the bolts on the manifold. Once this is complete, lift the manifold into place. The opening for the tubes should face downward when the manifold is installed correctly. Once the manifold is in place, you may proceed to re-thread the nuts by hand. 